Welcome back to All For Outlaws, guys, and today we're going to be jumping into the brand new update, which is now available, and it should be available on your device. All you should have to do is go to your device store and man make sure you've manually updated it from there, whether you're on Android or iOS, and without any further ado, let's jump into it. I'm going to do a full overview of everything that's here. I'm going to read off everything that's new for you guys, and then I'm going to play around with some of the new features, and obviously in the future, we will have more uh, vehicle builds individually as well as of course our offered outlaws streams where you guys can come into the game and play around in the game with me so with that being said this new update includes we've got six new vehicles one new field find the flex tester bounty trail challenges decal system uh props and features for custom maps or should i say new props and features for custom maps flatbeds enclosed trailers paint types and shinier gloss paint uh new tire graphics extra country flags tweaked vehicle mud graphics and lots of speed fixes and optimizations as well as physics tweaks now that i've gone over that let's go ahead and jump into it and see what all is actually like properly new here and i'm gonna scroll through the dealership real quick but i'm not gonna do like a build on like multiple different vehicles i'm gonna save those for individual videos so you guys can get a full taste of what those actually are uh, about and what those have to offer but real quick let's go ahead and go through the dealership because there's a lot to go over so here is the new four-door Cat Eye Chevy. I can literally see all of the Monster Max builds already. Uh, I, here is our Samurai, which is definitely going to be cool, especially for the crawler people. And then here we have our old-school Land Cruiser pickup. This is going to be a really cool one to build, I think especially for the people that are into more classic off-roading. And now we also have our first-gen Dodge, which is huge. The fact that we have this here is incredible to me. I'm like, I can't wait to play around with that and of course we also have our bronco and this is going to be a really cool one to play around with as well and then obviously from there you go into the trucks that were in the previous update before this one so now let me go back out and i'm going to use one of my personal favorite trucks uh my hauler f450 as a way to demonstrate some of the new customization features now of course we also have our f450 mega truck over here these two trucks have kind of been sort of staples of our uh staples of our garage for a while however i'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the customization and we've got a lot to go over here now i am going to actually go into the wrap editor and i'm gonna just clear everything clear everything and start fresh i don't know why it's yellow uh, yellow wasn't exactly what I remember starting with before, but I'm gonna paint it, I'm gonna paint it blue, and as you can see, the gloss blue is, like, super glossy, I mean, but then again, I mean, the, the gloss itself doesn't matter what color it is, any color that you pick, it's gonna be super glossy, and in fact, it looks a lot better because of it, and now the lime green looks seriously like a proper wicked lime green, a gloss orange looks really dang good as well. Like, ooh, that's like a burnt orange. That looks sick. That looks really, really, really good. Like, I didn't think I was going to be all about that, but that looks really, really, really good. Now, let's go into the wheels real quick. Do they do anything here with the wheels? Not really necessarily, although... Although the chrome, I think, looks a little bit more glossy as well. That could just be me, but if we go into the wrap section... Wait a minute. Let me go and check out... Okay. Yeah, I wanted to make sure the tires didn't, like, necessarily look a little different. But I'm going to go into the wrap editor because this is, like, a huge difference right now. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, wait. Is that lights? Hold on. Nope. I'm not sure what that does. Literally not sure what that does. But... You have so much stuff down here. They've moved a lot of stuff around. Let's see. Okay, so now we can scale it or move it. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. So there's going to be a lot that you can do with this system here. Like the new setup. And you can move it in little individual increments as well. There's going to be a lot you could do with this. A lot. I mean, we already have, like, honestly, a pretty freaking cool design right now. And we haven't even really messed with it much yet. Whoa! Holy crap! That's sick. Dude, I haven't even, like, I haven't even messed with this yet. That's wild. Oh my god. That's wild. 
I love it. And there's so much you can do with it. Holy crap. Yeah, there's so much you, you're going to be able to do with this. That is, that is insane. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that particular design for now. But to, just to know that you could do that and that it's there and how that new interface works is freaking legit. Okay, so flags wise, I'm not going to go through the flags in this video because I don't want to spoil those for you guys. I'm going to leave those up to you guys to go through. But if we go into decals now, this is where it gets really, really interesting. So we got shapes, fire, stripes, grudge, patterns, uh, let's see, skulls and bones, stickers, and, like animals, tribal, custom text. This is going to be really interesting. So let's see. How do we actually even make the tech? All right, let's see. Hold on. Let's do something simple. TC. Just something super simple. So now... Yo! That is so sick. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. That... Bro. I, I'm blown away right now. What even is this? Oh, this is so awesome. Okay. So you can also change the color of the text itself, which is really, really cool. And then let's see, what about, that's resize and rotate. Oh my God. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Now, does it have a, I guess it doesn't necessarily have a flip. It might, that's reorder. They don't necessarily, okay, that's that's a flip okay so can we do a did we make a copy or did we here hold on oh 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 god oh god leave you there now that uh oh I, i'm gonna have to figure out how to if I turn that off, okay, good. All right, so leave that there. And now I'm gonna try and add a new layer by doing that. And then we will put TC in that as well. Actually, let's put 97 on this side. Yeah, let's put 97 on this side. Yes. Size it down and rotate it just a touch. It's not exactly where I want it. There we go. Okay. Now, obviously, this isn't anything super in-depth. You got TC on this side. You got 9.7 on the other side. But you have so many fonts to choose from that the combinations that you can create are going to be absolutely wild. So let's try... Let's try... Oh, I don't know. Stickers. So we could do, like, say, for example... Say, for example, uh, let's see. Hmm. Going through, going through, trying to figure out what would be the best to do here. I'm going to say we'll just do something simple like 4x4 four four off-road. We'll move it into, we'll move it into alignment right there. And then let's drop it in right here. Oh, come on. And that's like right about where I want it. So I'll go ahead and drop that there. There's going to be so much cool stuff you could do. It's absolutely wild, guys. Absolutely wild. Like so many like combinations. And you have the decals on top of the wrap editor, which is blowing my mind. All right, I'm going to apply those mods. And then now I'm going now I'm going to go into tuning. And we have a flex test. However, I'm not going to do that with this. I'm going to do that with this. Because that that Ford is my tow rig. So let's see. Drop test. Wait. Oh, I see. So you could put it up to 35 degrees of flex. So let's bring it down to like... Let's do 20 degrees. And 20 degrees opposing. That is so cool. That's so sick. Now, if we link them. Oh, and then you could do 20%. Oh, okay, so you could link them together if you really wanted to. Wow. We got a 35 degrees and not roll over. That's sick. What happens if you, like, 
make them weird. I mean, I guess it works. Especially when you have something... Let's try a drop. Oh, God. That's weird. Okay. But still, the fact that we have that, super cool. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to our tow rig. And I want to go back into customization. And now, we're going to go into body. Now, if we go to bed type. Yes. Flatbed F450 hauler, boys. It's time. It's time. Oh, my God. And rear bumpers don't show up. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, I didn't expect the rear bumpers to show up, but I was curious as to kind of what they would do, kind of if you cycled through them a bit. But let's just see real quick. Um, yeah, I mean, your end is still going to be your repair pack. But this pulling a gooseneck is going to be wild. And I'll show you. Let's see. I'm going to uh, apply those mods. Apply those mods. And then we're going to go grab ourselves. We're going to actually sell this gooseneck for now. Because the gooseneck, I mean, the gooseneck is really, really cool. Don't get me wrong. I love the gooseneck. But I want to try a little bit of a new approach. And that, yeah, y'all already know where we're headed. Also, side-by-sides wise, here's the new K&M, which I cannot wait to build. I cannot wait to grab one of those and build it. But like I said, we're going to save that for its own video because I feel like it would be a disservice to it to not give it the spotlight of its own video, but it's super, super cool. This is more of a overview. And now if we go to the newest trailer, here is your fully enclosed hauler. Going to pick that up. And now, now we're going to, do we have a, okay. So this, we're going to repair it. And then we're, oh, no equipped trailers. That makes sense. I pulled a bit of a doofus on that one. All right. And, bruh. All right, go back to the trailer. Equip the trailer. Thank you. Okay, now the trailer is equipped, which is good. We can go back to our F-450 tow rig. And then we can go to our rock bouncer and load it into the trailer. And now you can actually say that it's loaded into instead of onto the trailer. And you don't see it at all. I mean, it's not clipping. So, let's see. Go back. Not that. And go back to the 450. And now, this is where it gets super, super interesting. Because I'm going to test this out. And we're going to see what it looks like. I can't wait to see how this looks. It's going to be so sick. It's going to be so cool looking. I can't wait. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, the truck kind of changed color, oddly, for a moment there. All right. Let's put everything on. Dude. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, my God. I, I love that. Wow. I love that. Oh my god, there's your enclosed trailer, boys. Ooh. Now, granted, this truck is a little high for it, but I think at the end of the day, I mean, we will get accustomed to what suspension height works best. And I think, oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. That is so freaking cool. That entire setup. I mean, you've got the flatbed, you've got the... You've got the enclosed trailer. You got everything with that setup. You really do. I mean, I don't know of anything else that that setup needs to be better. I, I don't I don't think it needs anything in order to be better, per se. It's just like, it's just like kind of one of those we're finally here type of feelings. And in a lot of ways, we are finally here because we've been waiting for this for a very long time. You know, we've been waiting for this for the for a very long time. And to get to see it, you know, to get to see it in action is so cool. What an incredible thing. Oh my god, what an incredible thing. Now, let's go ahead and drive it. So let's return to vehicle. I'll go back to free cam. And let's drive. Doesn't really feel like there's all that much weight behind us, that's for sure. I always forget how well this thing hauls. It hauls so well. Now let's look at what happens when we go to unload from that trailer. Oh, that's a sick picture. Oh, that's so cool. 
I just, I don't know. I can't get over it, y'all. I, I cannot get over the fact that, like, this is actually freaking here right now. Oh, it's so sick. It's so cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and disconnect the trailer and swap vehicles. Oh, so there isn't necessarily a loading process. It just sort of, like, beams you out of the trailer. I kind of was hoping that the ramps would come down, but it's not necessarily like the end of the world that they don't come down. But, I mean, hey, we still have an enclosed trailer, so we can't really necessarily complain about that. I mean, it's one tiny little detail, and who knows? They may make the back of the trailer come down at some point in the future. But then again, they might have found some bugs with it, and I, I agree with them if they decided to pull it because of, like excessive bugs but if you guys enjoyed this video tour of the latest update for offered outlaws make sure you come back for all of our offered outlaws videos and streams very very soon we will be doing individual build videos with those new with those new additions and we're also going to be building the can-am of course and if you enjoyed this overview video make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below hit that like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time